Hi girls. Uh, I was watching your, your videos for the VIP project and I really liked them. And it inspired me to do a small video for you guys. Um, I've actually really enjoyed this project. I like personality tests and I've taken several over the years. I did one back in high school. I had to do a project for it at that time and um, I've always thought that there was some truth to those uh, personality tests. Um, if you didn't know, I'm a mom of two little girls and I love them very much. Um, things that I think that are important to me being myself is uh, uh, my faith, um, my family, and uh, being myself. Uh, my faith is very important to me because it helps me have a moral um, balance to myself that my politeness and my reasoning towards other people is based all around that as well as my um, family that one of my biggest goals was to get married to the love of my life which is my husband Jordan and we've been married for 10 years and um, that process was actually not that hard for me it was hard in the when I was uh, in a high school and the beginnings of college that I dated people but I didn't find anybody who seemed interested in me. So it was important to me that I had goals that I wanted someone who loved me for me and all that I'm about, that I'm not always the most um, loud or determined person, but quietly I am quite determined and I can be very funny but I do better when I have somebody who is a little louder and helps me get gets me out of my comfort zone which my husband has done that I am a lot more funny than I used to be and a lot more sarcastic than I used to be uh, let's see life goals I always knew I wanted to be a mom that was one of my main goals I always knew I wanted to do something creative with my job, and I'm still working on that. I um, was determined to go to college um, because I've always had a hard time in school, and I've always uh, shined a little bit more inside things that were creative. And um, even though I've had a lot of things that have uh, made it hard to want to keep going with school, I did decide because I was determined that I would get a degree and have that be a help for my future life. And I did do that. I have got my associates and my bachelors. And I do um, a side tip here. If you do get an associates and you're planning to move to a different school, I would say finish your associates where you are and then transfer because it makes it easier to go to a different school and keep the credits you have earned. If you don't and you switch, you will lose credits and it kind of sucks. Um, I'm still figuring out what I want to do. I have figured out that I'm pretty good at making cakes, so I'm a baker. Um, I've done several over the last few years after I did college. I, um, I'm trying out being a para and I am enjoying it quite a bit. I'm learning a lot and surprised about how well I am doing in this. Uh, so that's kind of awesome. Uh, I also have talents in uh, floral design and I have seen that I could probably be a pretty good um, event person to do weddings or birthdays and so on because my creativity just goes out the window for things like that. Um, 
uh, things about myself that I've definitely overcome over the years was um, bullying that when I was younger uh, since possibly kindergarten almost all the way up to eighth grade that I had someone who decided that they that I needed to be um, their victim uh, for some reason or another. I've only had one boy and all the rest were girls and uh, it was really hard. Um, it got worse around fourth to sixth grade. I had moved over to Hawaii during that time and so I was the minority and the outsider and for some reason since I was nice and super quiet and shy that told them that I needed to get picked on for some reason and so that time was really hard in my life and uh, I got to a point where I did move back to the States and somebody tried to do it again to be mean and criticizing and demeaning to me for no good reason and I was just tired of all the bullying over the years and I made this poem that if I were to actually share it brings people to tears. It was called Being Hated and the point was to show how much it can, even if it's just words, that it can hurt somebody so much by um, showing that if you knew how it felt to be bullied and uh, that you wouldn't do it, that you would try and lift people up instead of bring people down. Um, and that's been an important thing in my life that I've overcome. I've also kind of had to do that with my mom at some points that she was my bully um, during high school and stuff that I just couldn't seem to do anything right and she was always mad. It was for lots of other reasons but it, she took it out on us a bit and so I was the oldest and so I took the brunt. I tried to at least. I, I, there was some switch that happened at some point that I could no longer be quiet while we were getting lectured or bullied at the same time and started standing up for myself and my brother and my sister. And I think from that, that has changed me a little bit in that I'm not as quiet as I used to be because I felt that by being so quiet that I didn't, wasn't able to get my goals and what my wants needed um, followed through or met. So I have learned to be more outgoing and more determined. Um, yeah, uh, I would say as an adult, I'm still working on things and I'm still growing and learning and being adaptable. I love being a mom. I am enjoying being a teacher's aide. Um, I've always loved uh, learning and growing and uh, find it fascinating to try new things. So here I am. Uh, thanks. Okay, bye.